been feeling trapped down on the floor I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose Silence takes a hold I can't let it go Chain up, no one knows But I won't let the storm Flashback. Flashback. So come with me. Okay, so the first thing that I did was to revamp this area, this foyer, you know, entrance area. So I just put a mirror. I put this mirror here, you know, for those of us like to look at ourselves. You know, just to make sure that your, your makeup is right, your outfit is right just before you leave. Yep, so I did put this mirror here. Very Arabic, inside very Arabic. And then I got these two um they're like lambs to figurines basically that kind of match up with the, the border of this mirror and also this uh, mat that matches with the whole color scheme here so it's all gold and bronze colors right yeah this is so beautiful So that's that right here you have the entrance desk. But guys, I'm not finished with this area. So tell me what you think I should add to this section of it to kind of, you know, bring it up a little bit more. Should I put like a vase with flowers or should I put pictures? Tell me what you think in the comment section below. All right, so then we move into the living dining area. And the first thing, as we come through, if you look to the wall, I have this beautiful art piece from Tanzania. I absolutely love African art and I got this beautiful art piece from Tanzania and this goes right here. Then my dining table, I got this matching set from Holy Center and these are just for decoration guys, I'm not going to eat on them. You know Jamaicans can relate. We always have a special set of plates that we don't use. They're just there for decorations. And this is it, right? The placemats I got from um, Tanzania as well at the craft market in, Ar in Arusha. Yeah, the Maasai market in Arusha. And this fruit bowl I got from Ghana. Okay, so that's the dining table. Here I have two pieces of art. This one I got from Egypt at the Nubian village. It's a Nubian woman painted on. And this artifact I got from Ghana as well as the Art and Craft Center. Okay. Now, I always had this bookshelf in here, but then um, it was just books and bags that I have it, but now I just uh, transformed it and I just put some deco on so I have this really beautiful golden vase with flower. I have some papuri in a glass, you know, my tin, my metal decorated tins, papuri, flowers, and these two beautiful vases. 
Things number one, I love the gold deco here. Let me know if I should leave it as this or I should probably put some colored beads inside it or something. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do with this. Should I leave it alone or should I put some colored beads, beads inside it? But that's vase number one. And this is a vase number two. The bottom kind of reminds me of a pineapple. All right, so going further down, if you look on the floor, I did put a carpet on, and it's done in like a burgundy and gold. Um, yeah, burgundy and gold. And this I got from Qatar. Then I got these three um, ornaments and bowls from Egypt. I don't remember where in Egypt, but we got these in Egypt. It's a, spe it's a they're especially known for um Alabama. for alabaster. So this is alabaster, you know. So I got these three. You can do you can put sweets in or you can put candles in. You know, if you want a romantic evening, yeah, you can do that. And then I got this at um in Egypt as well at one of the markets, and it just ties in perfectly with the carpet and. Again, I have on top of the sofa, I have this, um, this frame. It's actually Kenta cloth that I framed. I got this Kenta cloth from Ghana. Yeah. So I just framed it and placed it on top of my sofa. And then to this side, I have another African art piece canvas that I got from Tanzania as well. And then I have this red throw. I've been trying to get cushions and pillows for the um, for the sofa, but I'm not I'm not being able to get um, the the shade or complementary colors that I want. And the souk isn't open as yet. So as soon as I open, I'll try to get some fabric and get someone to make them. But I'm definitely going to put some um, cushions and pillows on the sofa. Okay. So next, I had some shelvings on. Then I only had two, and then I put this one here, and I just put some. Um, some artificial flowers, plants, colored plants on them, and then some picture frames. I'm gonna put some pictures in. I was supposed to collect them yesterday, but I was unable to go, so they're not in. But yeah, definitely gonna put some picture frames in. Then too, this is my little exercise section. I have my yoga mat and my ball and my foam thingy here, yeah. This is my little exercise section, and here I have this beautiful modern contemporary lamp. It's like a tikka lamp, I think. I got this from, yeah, I got this from Ikea. Yeah. Alright, so this is what it looks like at night. If you have all the lights out and then you turn the lamp on, it just has a really beautiful glow. And then the, the first time that I actually did my um my apartment tour, my full apartment tour, you guys, you all killed me. Where's the TV? Where's the TV? And I told her I didn't watch TV television that much. But anyways, I gave in and uh, I bought a TV. So this is the television right here. And to this side, there is... An end table with the, the matching um, lamp to go with that standing lamp on that side. And I have this plant here that doesn't fit very well in my um <laughs> my my box, but just bring some you know some life, some green life, green ray to the room. Yeah, so that's it.
I did it. Alright, so let me know guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I did a good job, if I could have done something else, if I should do something more, if you like the color scheme, all that good stuff. I'm open to all suggestions because it's summer, we have rain up in anywhere, so might as well make her space very beautiful. Okay, and thanks for watching. And if you've watched this far and you haven't yet subscribed, come on guys, what are you waiting for? I'm telling you, this is free. Nothing goes for free these days, or nothing. So whatever you can get, take it. Just hit that subscribe button down below and join my family on YouTube. Alright?